And welcome to the next part of Grand Theft Auto 5. We're moving right along to Trevor Mission. I miss you already. Not really sure what mission this damn it. Not really sure what mission this is. Don't really remember. Edward, are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the is that no one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? Ah, Floyd! I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? <laughs> I come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh yeah, some serious corporate gang banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center <laughs> in the name of. <laughs> Team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, <laughs> okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together? Huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good? Huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap. Yes. There. <laughs> you made me swear. <laughs> Crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice. <laughs> They'd unfucked out. Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. Mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Deborah? Ooh, interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. They definitely done fucked up. <laughs> oh, I know exactly where to take you. I could run in and get Floyd and Debra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd, then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. <laughs> oh, Trevor, what have you got all over yourself? You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah. Syrup. Accident. We've all been there. We sure have. Fuck. But... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. <laughs> okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores. Oh. Woohoo! Again, again! You stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to a quarry, and then they just... just disappeared. Here we are. What do you think? So, this is where Floyd is going to meet us, a strip club? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. <laughs> Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Right here. Here? Mm. 
here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. <laughs> to the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. And another one bites the okay, dust. What? I don't remember this switch. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. Mission passed. And we are just gonna move right along. Look what my son did to my car. He put dollar sign wheels on it and shit. No good. So you're gonna drive into me. Is it here? Is it here? Nope. That's where the Bugatti usually is. I think it was this street. It was a street before this. Got you. Good to know. Wonder if I could drive a motorcycle through this. My boy Mike. Just because this walk sucks. Can't run. I asked for your number, but they took my phone. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. <laughs> That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know <laughs> Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> so what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? 
<laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. The big score. Big one. There's Leon. <laughs> hey, you there? All right, we're on a strict schedule. There's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 15:30. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Damn it, Michael Franklin. All you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we got to stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Switching to Trevor. I don't think that was the best idea, though. Because this is a pretty long drive. You. Oh, I didn't mean. We'll I did not mean to do that. Of two hundred million. I meant to zoom out of the. What do you call it? Whoops. I meant to zoom out of the mini map. Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. Look, dog. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well, uh, uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clock. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I could help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. <laughs> Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. Whoop, low too much. Wonder if uh, Lester knows that what's his name's dead. Anyway. I love how it's on the other side of the road. One who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on. 13:30. We're an hour down. Let's go, go, Lester to molester. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it. My observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good boy. Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. I always it's fly over that, that never trip in the alarm. It's going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, 
Those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, <laughs> I want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice. The key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. I wonder if there's a way to speed this up. Stay with them. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no, no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Helicopter's not looking so good right now. I didn't know I had to control it in this view right here. What about here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges. It's en route and we'll have plenty of cover. It's too open. There's a number of get outs and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With the right equipment, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's positions. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! I can't believe my chopper is looking like this. Look at this. Smoky, smoky, smoky. What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. <laughs> the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. There they are. There they are! Back out in the open! It'll need to be a quick turnaround, but you can take them in there. I'm picking up the cars. Right on time. Hey, it, uh, it looks like we're gonna need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. And we're going to be using a helicopter again, so I don't know, hey, man. I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! I don't remember where this was. Where was it? I know it was right around the starting look where I started from, so I was here. Where was Ah, I need to remember this. We started like right here. No, it was back here. 
There it is. There's your big ass hole. Hover above it while I record what we need. I need to be above, shooting down into it. Just hold the chopper here. You can do that, right? Steady now. Lots of clear space. Hold here. Looks good, looks good. All right, I think I've got enough information to work with. Definitely got to remember that location of that hole. Quicker I find it, the quicker I'll be able to go through the mission. Shave seconds off the splits, etc., etc. Anyway. Hey, so how you feeling about this? Feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. Yeah, will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies. Bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA. And your family, man. <laughs> you know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we're about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. Sounding real suspect. All right, holla at him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. And that is pretty much the end of this mission. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give the video some likes, all that good stuff. Yeah, boy.